So, day two gets underway then at Sandown here with the Heroes Handicap Hurdle. A grade three handicap over two miles and six furlongs, and the top one is Eagle has landed Joshua Sutherland. Executive Director Paul Rhodes, Kumadatha, Darren Thompson, Jim Murray, Derek Hinton, San Joquin, Darren Thompson, Scooby Snacks, David Robertson, Wonderful in Young Life, Graham Clutterbuck, Molliette, No White, Molliette Surfer, Opera Love, Molliette Surfer, Claustrophobic, Kevin Meenahan, Flavour It, Obi Wan, Field Trip, Kevin Meenahan, Rick Grimes, Graham Clutterbuck, Make You Laugh, Martin Leedham, Buzzer Time, Daniel French, Judas Priest. Martin Leedham, Magical Climate, Daniel French, Amoya Super, Alex Cherry, King George, Stu Gray, Radio Missile, Alex Cherry, and Tribago, James Follis. So 21 of them then, called in and away for this opening race on day two of week nine, Sandown Park, and making their way towards the first of 12 flights of hurdles, the grey buzzer time on the far side is the first one to rise, and they all land safely on the other side. And make their way towards the second. It's only a short run to it. And over it they go. And they're all safely over that one as well. With buzzer time, the grey settled in the lead. But Jim Murray now being driven up on his outside to come and join him. Then Trabago is back in third. The rest of the field are pretty tightly packed with claustrophobic. Just about the back marker as they skip over flight number three. And they're all safely over that one as well. With buzzer time and Jim Murray towards the centre of the track. Not come across to the rail as yet. The third place horse is Opera Loving the dark blue colours, the yellow jacket over on the far side is flavour it, the widest all of all appears to be field trip with just on the inside of that one, wonderful and young life but they're already over number four and Saint Joaquin has dropped to the back of the pack and Jim Murray has just about poked his head in front so they come round this turn now and the leaders do cut across to the fence pretty sharp turn here and buzzer time is the leader by three quarters of a loop to Jim Murray in second gap of a couple of lengths then back to a Moya Super in third so that one Opera Love and Tribago with Executive Director getting closer then Scooby Snacks and Claustrophobic Eagle has landed after that one Molly X No Whites tucked in nicely on the inside and the back marker now appears to be Rick Grimes as they make their way towards the next up the home straight and now to the next flight shortly there it is flight number five all over that one okay with Rick Grimes about three lengths of drift at the back uphill now towards the winning post on the first circuit this will be the final flight on the next time around and they're all safely over that one as well and past the enclosures and the stable yard and everything and the assembled throng of the one car in the car park and they're past the winning post and one more circuit of Sandown to go in this Heroes Handicap Hurdle. And Buzzer Time and Jim Murray have disputed the lead from the outset. With Eagle has landed now, moved through into third. Saint Joaquin's mode could ground into fourth. Then Executive Director is five and Molly, it's no one, is six. And Moya Super is seven and Claustrophobic is eight. And then Kumadatha nine. Then Scooby Snacks and Opera Love and Radio Missile after that one with Trabago and Field Trip. Then Flavour It and King George, Make You Laugh in the Orange Jacket. Then Wonderful in Young Life, Judas Priest. And finally, Magical Climate and Rick Grimes, who is just out of shot at this stage. So, making their way towards the next end. And Buzzer Time and Jim Murray headed all their own way so far up the front. With Sir Shockwin chasing in third. You see the undulations of the sand down track as they go up and down. Much stiffer track than a lot of people realise, sand down. And Buzzer Time is the leader. Jim Murray second. Eagle has landed third, claustrophobic four. Past the ambulance and down towards the next end with a little more than a mile to race. This is flight seven. And uh, that time it was a bad mistake there by the Joshua Sutherland horse. Eagle has landed and didn't get over it very well at all. Over the next one, and all over that one, okay. With Buzzer Time and Jim Murray still disputing the lead, but the pack are beginning to close and they're all pretty tightly grouped. To be honest, with the exception of probably Flavour and Rick Grimes, who are just at the back a little bit as they take number nine. That's four from home, and Jim Murray is now got a length and a half clear of Buzzer Time in second, Claustrophobic in third, and Opera Love in fourth. Then Amoya Super and Field Trip and Molly Snow White and Scooby Snacks, and then Magical Climate Mate. You laugh, is trying to make some ground. So too is Judas Priest, Wonderful and Young Life is still there. Flavour it's the only one who looks beaten as they take the third last, and over that one they go then. And Buzzer Time has now got back into the lead. Buzzer Time, Field Trip, Scooby Ruby Snacks, Jim Murray, blending in with chances of Moya Super, Claustrophobic, Molly, it's no white opera of there, both wide on the track. Kumadath is trying to get into it as well. Towards the back, King George looks as though he's in a bit of a 
flat spot as they begin to swing towards home now. A sharp turn into the straight, and it's buzzer time in the lead. Buzzer time from Field Trip, Saint Joaquin, Claustrophobic, Scooby Snacks, and Amoya Super down towards the second last. And Saint Joaquin's gone for home, being chased by the two Kevin Mina and horses. It's Saint Joaquin in the lead from Field Trip and Claustrophobic. Rick Grimes has come from nowhere in the fourth, then make you laugh at Amoya Super at the second last they go. And it's Saint Joaquin who lands in the lead. Coming now wide on the outside is Kumadatha, but it's Saint Joaquin who's still two lengths to the good from Field Trip and Claustrophobic. Then Kumadatha, here comes Judas Priest with a run as well. And Scooby Snacks and Amoya Super, one more flight to take. Just a little more than a furlong to go. At the final flight they go, over he goes, Saint Joaquin in the lead. Here comes Claustrophobic and Field Trip. Judas Priest up the centre of the track. Between these they race uphill towards the line. It's Saint Joaquin in the lead, being pressed by Claustrophobic on his outside. Claustrophobic's gaining with every stride. Saint Joaquin needs a line. Saint Joaquin, Claustrophobic. Claustrophobic's getting up to take it. Claustrophobic's still going to Saint Joaquin second. Judas Priest was third. And the field will trail back to Flairick. Buzzer time on seated his rider in the straight, probably at the last or the second last, but it was a win for Kevin Mina. Hans Claustrophobic looks like he's got it won by a good neck. And Claustrophobic takes it for Kevin Meenahan. Saint Joaquin second for Darren Thompson. Judas Priest was third for Marcelin. Kumadatha fourth for Darren Thompson again. And Scooby Snacks fifth for David Robertson. Kevin, you can see Kevin Meenahan was sixth as well. So a good race there for Kevin Meenahan and Darren Thompson. And a good start to day two of week nine.